Hello and welcome back guys here at Minecraft Forge modding tutorial number two and in this video we will be going to create our own block in Minecraft which will be a nice little crate. So let's start. So first we will have to do one new thing and this is at mod.instance and then we'll make public static tutorial mod instance semicolon so uh, what this does it's just a, a thing for forge so I will explain this in one of my later videos for more advanced coding so um, then we will have to create two new packages and these are one for the language files, so uh, the files in which we register all the names for blocks depending on the languages and one for the textures. So go on src slash main slash resources and create two new packages. One package is called assets dot tutorial mod dot lang for language and then Right click on this new package and replace the lang with textures and because we just need the blocks textures in this um, tutorial we will type blocks behind of it. So um, it also creates the package textures but uh, it only shows packages that we have created or those who are filled. So and in the lang file we will create one new file. And this is an untitled text file. No, it's not a text file. Uh, we will create a new file, a simple file. And we will call it enus.lang. So it's important you call it dot .lang. So uh, we'll work with this later, but now let's create a nice little crate texture. So I'm using Photoshop, I create a new image, call it create and the width is 16 and the height is also 16 because all Minecraft textures are 16 by 16 pixels. So uh, now let's take a nice brown and the pencil, make it like this. And then let's take another brown, let's take this one and draw oh, draw these parts in that brown. Nope, that was wrong. Mark this parts and mark this parts and mark this single no, this was wrong. And mark this single part down here. Uh, mark this single part down here. Oh, it was wrong again. Mark this single part down here. Okay, it won't mark this part, so we'll draw it manually. So, now select your uh, tool and press this. Just fill it with paint, but it. <laughs> what is it doing? I don't know. Okay, so we'll paint it manually. So, make this and make this and make this. So, let's paint a nice little crate. Up. Here we go, and there we go, and oh, now it's symmetric so and now let's select an other brown and let's paint the stripes for this crate oh I think it's too oops it's too light this color so let's select this and let's repla replace it with this ah now it works so uh, that's our crate 
looks pretty nice and now save this in our resources slash assets slash tutorial mod slash textures slash blocks um, repository and of course select PNG all Minecraft files are dot PNG and save so we can close Photoshop no I don't want to save it and yeah now you can see we have our crate dot PNG in here so what we'll be doing now is we will create a new class and this class will um, have all blocks of the tutorial mod in it so call it uh, tutorial mod blocks so and now we will create a new package and in this all single block classes will be dot blocks so and now we'll create a new class block create I know it's pretty much uh, pretty many classes and new packages and stuff so you can just pause this video and then make this and this class extends on the basic minecraft mod uh, basic minecraft block class press ctrl shift o to import everything and select net.minecraft.blocks.block so now it wants us to have a constructor of giving a material so if you want to overgive a material we will rename this shit with simple material and lowercase and yeah now we'll have to set two variables for this block so we have to set the name and we have to set the texture so this dot set block name and it wants a string here semicolon and the name is of course block crate so we need this name to uh, this is just the name forge is using in game so it's not the name that is displayed the name that is displayed we will set in the en us uh, us file right now so open with text editor and i'll write a comment so set all block names so and how to set a block name in the language file yeah it's pretty easy you just type tile dot and then the block name so in this case it is block create you can just copy it to make to make sure it's right tile dot block create dot name equals and do not insert a space here you have to write name directly after the equals so equals create so and that's it we have the name now and now we only have to set the texture this dot set block texture name in brackets a string and the texture name is our uh, tutorial mod ID dot mod ID plus I'll explain it in a minute uh, plus double point and our texture name crate and because it's a block we don't need uh, the whole path because it automatically automatically uh, goes in assets slash our mod id that's why i write our mod id in front of the crate uh, textures and blocks so that's it for this file and if we want to have any special effects with this block so for example if a player goes over it he dies such as for trap uh, we will also write these methods in here so that's it for that class we can close it now and now let's go into our tutorial mod blocks class class so in here we will create a new list and this is public static list extends blocks or the entries are a type of block uh, extend block not blocks um, and this will be our block list so every single block of our mod is in this list block list equals new array list it's important to say array list all entries extend block and, bra and brackets and semicolon 
Control Shift O to import everything. Net dot Minecraft dot block dot block and Java dot util dot list. So that's everything we need to import to this class. So and what we are going to do now is create one method that adds all our blocks to this list and then with the for loop registers all blocks from this list automatically because otherwise uh, if you don't use a for loop you would have to write a line for every block and the file would just be enormous so write public static void register blocks brackets and the other brackets and that's the method and yeah now we can add our block now one thing one thing a thing well one single thing we have to do before we have to make a new variable type block public block and now our create block so choose another name than the class class name otherwise there will be some annoying issues so and uh, now we can add this create block to the list so block list dot add and now the create block uh, create block equals new and now we will have to call our class so our block create create dot class uh, not dot class block create brackets and semicolon control shift o to import everything and change create block to static that's why it wasn't available here so we have to overgive a material in here so type material dot wood because it's a crate is made of wood and now he wants us to change the visibility of the constructor to public because it was on private before so uh, this is adding the block to the list and we will set our creative tab so this section uh, the block will appear in Minecraft right now and later in another video we will create our very own creative tab so um, just type dot set creative tab in brackets and now creative tabs with an s dot and tab block so it will appear in the default block tab in creative mode in minecraft now so and now let's code this for loop and this is pretty easy so we just write for all blocks of our list so blocks block uh, block with a large b and block with a small b as the name of our block list he should do the things in the brackets so and this is one single line and the that is like this game registry dot register block and now we will call our block and then the unlocalized name block dot get unlocalized name so to explain this um the list has an index so how many blocks are in there so if the list is empty it won't uh, do anything with this for loop if there is one single object in it which is our crate block it will register the crate block with the name reset in our block create class so we can have a look at this set block name method and as you see public block set block name in brackets a string it sets the unlocalized name variable in the block class so this is the minecraft basic block uh, class and as you can see here it has many 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 methods so and you was able to see so here you can see um these are all the blocks that are in Minecraft. So here you can see the dirt block, the cobblestone block, and even the bookshelf block, and mossy stone, and the ladder. So yeah, you can just look in all your, all the Minecraft classes and reveal the secrets of notch coding. So 
Yeah, uh, that's it for these two files and the only thing we have to do now is to call the method in our tutorial mod blocks class. And we will going to do this in our pre-init method. So call tutorial mod blocks dot register blocks. And that's it. Now we can test Minecraft with our own block. So debug. I'm debugging because debugging is... I like debugging more than launching. So I can explain what debugging is a bit. So debugging is uh, the game launches and you can change uh, some parts of the code while it loads. So if you're coding it pauses the game and if you then rejoin uh, uh, or if you save the file you worked on it uh, replaces the code in the mod automatically. So there we are and let's see if it worked or not. And there we have our crate. So it's in my inventory already uh, because I had another video before in which I tested. So we can place our crate like this and like that and like this and you can hear it makes a nice sound and it looks like a crate and it has the name crate. So uh, we can ch uh, of course change the name uh, of the block in the language file. So I can show you this. Open this language file and I can call it creeper box. Save and now we have to uh, reload our resources. So resource packs and just click on done. And you can see the name is now changed to creeper box. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you like you enjoyed it and you have learned something and yeah see you next video in which we will be going to create our very own item and I say very own to match in which we'll be creating our own item. So see you next video guys. Goodbye.